This is key. Without this, you can't really do your job. A happy place to be when, when things are going as well as they are here. You don't necessarily think of the Bronx and the bees in the same sentence. This is a uh, rooftop apiary at St. Barnabas Hospital. The more gentle you are, the more gentle they are. We'll use the smoke. It's just pine chips and a smoker, a bellows to uh, mask an alarm scent that the bees put out. Upward of 50,000 bees per hive. So you're looking at 200,000 bees. They're going to pollinate everyone's trees and vegetable gardens for two miles in every direction of the rooftop. We got a, a full box here, so that's two. These bees might be doing extra well because there's not a lot of competition for the nectar and the pollen and the resources that they need. Produce a beautiful, local, healthy, uh, special honey that uh, local residents can enjoy. All this is part of the fact that food insecurity is a major problem here in the Bronx. Beautiful bee, I mean, look how calm and gorgeous they are. This will be our fall harvest. The nectar in the fall is typically darker than the spring flowers produce. You can't pull too much honey and risk starving the bees. They need that honey. The bees don't fly in the winter, they, they hunker down. They don't want to sting. All they want to do is go to their flowers, get their job done, come back with some nectar and serve their queen. If they sting, they die. You keep them calm, they stay calm. Everything the bees do is good for us as humans and good for themselves. 